Hey guys, I have something really, really fascinating that I want to talk to you about today. You might have seen my video about what's going on with the Wang volcano, where it's like, it looks like end of day scenario with lightnings and volcanic ashes. But these lightnings are caused by the volcanic eruption. But think about if a volcano thinks, oh, I'm going to erupt. And then it looks like the ancient gods are angry at it and throwing a lightning at it like Zeus or... Thor sitting there throwing it at it saying, stop that, we don't want that. This happened in Guatemala with the Fuego volcano. So that is a coincidence and that rare occurrence has been captured on camera by a tour guide that was leading a group of tourists actually up on that volcano, which is by itself quite crazy. We will learn more in this video about that because this thing erupts quite frequently or sends something down there and the tourists are just walking there crazy 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 you know if you're a regular viewer you know my opinion about bringing tourists into danger zones we're talking about this a lot in iceland with the blue lagoon and with tourists that want to go into the hazard areas so check that out if you're interested and by the way please leave this video a like to support my channel a bit little bit so thank you for that let's talk about what happened at fuego fuego is a big and active volcano in Guatemala. It is close to Antigua, which is a very popular tourist city. So the volcano's name itself says what's going on with that guy, because its name, if you translate it to English, Fuego, that's fire. And it really lives up to that. So for centuries, this guy has had frequent eruptions, sometimes just puffing out smoke, but on other times sending ash and lava down its slopes. And if the tourists are walking up the slopes, you can't outrun that. So this is very, very, very dangerous. So it's not long ago in 2018, one of its deadliest eruptions in recent history have left villages around the volcano buried in ash, taking many lives and causing massive destruction. So since then, that volcano has stayed active with regular small eruptions that locals, of course, are monitoring closely. So this volcano, really, it's a mix of beauty and danger that makes it so fascinating. But let's have a look at this short clip here that the tour guide did, and it's beyond fascinating, guys. <laughs> shooting right in there. So yeah, I hope you found that as fascinating as I did. And you know, there are really tourist tours up on that volcano, as you can see, right? They're all cheering. Sometimes tourists are a little bit, I, I want to avoid saying it stupid, right? They seek the danger. And if they're taking a tour guide, they're thinking, well, the guides must know what they're doing. But in many times, it's just about money. So you have to do your own research, guys. And I hope my videos help you doing so, right? Because then you can evaluate the dangers better. Because due to the activity that this volcano has, guided tours are, of course, the safer option so don't go out there all by yourself but you know usually these tours are starting from the nearby town from Antigua and then hikers of course can enjoy incredible views of these eruptions if they don't go up on Fuego right away if they go to the neighboring Acatenago Acatenango volcanoes that's a safer distance so this is the more safe and popular choice because it's a safer vantage point. It's still not 100% safe, right? So always, if you go there, if you want to do something like this, whether it be in Iceland or wherever, check for local safety advice and follow the guidance of experienced guides, but also build your own opinion and do your own research because these tourist operations you know, White Island, Blue Lagoon in Iceland had emergency evacuations. They were keeping the tourists there up to the last minute. They could have evacuated safely a few days before the eruption because they knew it was coming. Nope, 
wait till the last minute. So don't rely on them. Don't rely on anybody that makes money with you. So do your own research, the history of the volcano or wherever you go, earthquake activity, other fault lines, what's, what's in the works. So that lightning has hit the crater, basically right into the crater. And it looks like it's a meteorological lightning and not volcanic lightning that would have been triggered by this eruption like we have seen at the Ruang eruption just recently. Thankfully, nobody was hurt through that lightning. And I think the people that were standing there watching, they, they got a little bit scared, probably. And if you watch the video closely, you can see there's a lot more lightning going on in the background. So overall, if the weather is like this, it's probably not the best idea and the best timing to climb up on a volcano on a, on a high point anyways, right? So shouldn't the tour guys have aborted that trip? Well, money rules in many cases, right? So if they're walking up that volcano and there's a little bit of a larger eruption that can be very very deadly for these tourists you know there's pyroclastica that are being sent around some particles volcanic rocks and ashes and everything can be quite large so if you're hit by that and it's all hot it's hot right and the problem is that the normal tourists, they think, oh, if we go on a volcanic tour, the, the tour guides will know what they're doing. They're local, so they must know that. So it's probably safe. In many cases, it is not. I don't want to scare you from being, you know, adventurous, but, you know, it's your own life. Right now, the activity overall that Fuego is showing is a little bit above average. So there might be something in the works anyways. So there are already explosions at that volcano. So about four to 10 explosions per hour and volcanic ashes can go up into the air up to 5,000 meters. Of course, that height can only be reached by the stronger explosions. And those are not that frequent. Then these, these ashes are usually blown to the west and they're causing in, in quite a few villages like an ash rain covering everything with ashes and also like hot material, like really hot material can be thrown out of that crater um, up to 300 meters high above that crater. Also, there can be around the edges of that volcano some weak avalanches that are coming down there, um, especially towards like the ravines Tenitsa, Tanilua, Seca, and Las Lajas. And some of these landslides, some of these avalanches are even reaching the areas where there is more vegetation. So this activity is accompanied by quite interesting noises. So it's like something going from like weak to quite substantial, like rumbling and like shaking, like sounds like a, like a train a little bit. And that's lasting usually for one minute. And since this is an area that has a lot of rain, if it's raining a lot, it can lead to laharas that go into the areas around it, like mudslide sort of thing. So this thing is not a friendly area to go for a relaxed hike. If you go for a hike in that area, you really have to know what you're doing. So guys, I hope you liked this update. Check out my channel. There's more updates about Iceland, about the super volcano Campi Fligri, about, you know, Indonesia, and about many other stuff, the Titan Submersible. So check out my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. And thank you for your ongoing support to my regular viewers. And I hope to see you very, very soon with the next one. And until then, check out one of these videos here. I hope you'll like it. And I see you there. Bye-bye.